Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. So today I am working on some cemetery arrangements. Um, here at our flower shop, we sell a lot of um, arrangements, artificial arrangements in cones like this. Um, these cones actually go into vases that are um, already on the headstone at the cemetery. We sell a lot of this style. Um, we sell some cemetery baskets and we also sell um, stone toppers. But today I'm going to put together a cemetery cone for you um, and show you how I do that. So we buy um, already, this is just a styrofoam vase insert. Um, it's already pre-shaped like this. I usually use, this is a vase that we've used a long time. I just drop this cone right down into that vase so it holds it upright for me. Next, I like to cover the top of the cone with a little bit of Spanish moss. This just helps to cover those mechanics and it just makes it look nicer, I think. So I'm just taking that moss and I'm just kind of wrapping it right around the top of my vase. Next, I'm gonna come in with some greenery. So this is silk leather leaf. Um, it comes in a bundle of 12 stems. With this one, I'm probably not gonna use all 12. I think I'm gonna use about six. I'm gonna set the other six to the side. If I need to use them, I can. I'm gonna take my wire snips. So they come with pretty long stems. So I'm gonna take my wire snips and I'm just gonna trim those stems back. Um, I just don't need them quite that long. So I just took my snips and trimmed them. Now what I'm gonna do is I have my hot glue pan here. This is just a traditional um, fryer skillet that you can buy at Walmart or Target or any of those um, stores. You would normally cook in this skillet, um, but we use it as a glue pan. Um, I use it for skillet glue. You can purchase that skillet glue on Amazon or from any of your, um, I think you could probably get it from the craft store, or you can even use glue sticks. Um, but I usually just use skillet glue. And I set this glue to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you don't have the um, thermometer over here, you can always set it. So this is a little hot. Um, you want your glue to be about the consistency of honey. So I just turned it down a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I took my stem of greenery, I'm dipping it right into that glue, and I'm just sticking it right down in to that foam. Now I'm gonna turn my um, container, and I'm gonna go all the way around with um, this leather leaf. And I'm just dipping it in that glue and sticking it right in. Now, if you do not have a glue pan, you can use a hot glue gun um, or you can use a steel pick machine. Okay, so I have got all of the, I, this is six pieces of leather leaf. Now, um, when I am not using other types of greenery, I usually just use one bundle, the 12 pieces of leather. Really, that's completely up to you. But for today's, because I'm gonna use some um, pine, I just thought six pieces is plenty. Now this is a, um, a greenery pick that ha it's pine. Um, it's supposed to be pine. And so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna actually use two of these picks. I'm gonna cut it um, off just a little. I'm gonna dip that end into my glue. And I'm just gonna push that right down into the cone. Now, I really like to use um, inexpensive Christmas greens um, during the winter season because, I mean, it just looks nice. And so what I'm doing is I'm just taking this pine and I'm just fluffing it a little bit. I'm gonna cut that stem, dip it in the glue, and push it right into that cone. Okay, so there is it's greened out there my cone is com is greened out so next I'm going to take my flowers so here at our shop we purchase our artificial flowers 
Um, we purchased them from a wholesaler. This actually came from a wholesale truck. Um, and so here I have trucks that come by and they have the entire truck is just filled with different um, artificial materials that you can get. Um, and so this pretty artificial bush was on her truck. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take the stems and I am just going to cut them off of this bush. Um, now, I will have to trim them up after I get them all cut off, but I like to leave a good bit of length because you never know how tall you want it. Um, this stem, I believe, has 30 flowers on it. And this bush here in our flower shop we would sell it for $38.99 for this entire um, bush. So that's not too bad. A little more than a dollar a, a flower. So that's not too bad. I try not to get too many um, artificial arrangements done with poinsettias. And the reason I do that, I of course have red poinsettias, but the reason I choose not to use too many red poinsettias is because some people want to do their arrangements to go through winter and not just be associated with Christmas. And a poinsettia is a very much a Christmas flower and so, I always like to have winter arrangements also, so that you don't feel like it has to come off right after Christmas. Okay, so I got them all cut off the, um, cut off the bush. So I'm gonna start, I like to start with my height first. So I'm gonna start with a red rose. I'm gonna dip it in the glue and just push it right into my foam. So I'm one of those that I like to do the individual types first. So I'm going to do all my red roses first so I can go all the way around this. I think one of the little pieces came off so I'm just putting it right back on. So I like to be able to disperse the same type of flower all the way around and then come in with the next type of flower. Um, now, there's really no right or wrong to this. You do it how you'd like. But I'm just taking that stem, dipping it in the glue, and pressing it into the foam. Some of them I'm trimming up because I don't need them quite so long. I really like this little filler flower that's on these roses. I think it's pretty. I'm gonna trim these shorter. And so you can see how I'm just taking that vase and I'm just turning it to make sure that I get my flowers all the way around. Basically, you're doing exactly what you would do with just a, with a fresh arrangement. You're just gonna add your flowers all the way around. Okay, so there's our roses. Next, we're going to come in with these beautiful deep red peonies. Um, oh, they're pretty. I like this color a lot. So, with my larger flowers, I like for those to go a little lower in the arrangement. So, I'm trimming that stem, dipping it in the glue, and tucking it kind of deep into the arrangement. So there's all my red. The wonderful part about artificial stems also is you can kind of spread them out. Um, they're not all stuck in one place. You can kind of bend them and with them being on wire, it makes it nice. Now this is a pincushion protea. 
I have honestly never seen it in a white, but I really like its texture. I really like the way it looks. It also has some little holly um, leaves on it. It's a printed, pretty added touch to this arrangement, I think. And you can kind of, I don't know if you can see on the video, but the one thing about this glue is it strings. So it puts off little glue strings. If you'll take a blow dryer or even a heat gun and just run it over the top of the, um, the arrangement, those little strings will just melt away. Or if you're like me, I don't have a blow dryer up here. I just go around and pull them off. Um, but a blow dryer or a heat gun works wonderful. Be sure you always pull the tags off your flowers also, guys, because you sure don't want to send out tags on your artificial flowers, do we? All right, so there are our, this is our last palm. And there's a couple of stems of um, Christmas greens, so we'll take those. And... Okay, so there's our, oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? So I'm going to take this little piece of Christmas greens, trim it up just a little, and I'm going to put it in the top. I have a couple stems of this. Now, this arrangement here in our shop would sell for about $75. Um, and there we have it. There is our um, artificial arrangement that would go on a grave. Now you can always, if the customer would like, you can always add ribbon to this. You certainly don't have to. I don't usually add ribbon, um, but I certainly have. So, I mean, it's really all in your preference. Um, you can always find these bushes um, at any of the hobby stores. So I know that even Walmart carries some of the pretty bushes, um, but that's basically what it is. Is it is just a, um, it's just an artificial bush I cut up and I arranged in the foam. Now let me tell you one trick about when you get out to the cemetery with this arrangement. A lot of times these cones are made too big to go in that vase. And the reason that is, is because you need this cone to be tight. Um, you want it to be big, big so that it's going to fit right down. I mean, you have to work it to get it in that, in that vase so that it doesn't blow away. So a trick to using um, this cone and to getting this cone to fit Take another piece of styrofoam with you or take a pocket knife and cut off about an inch or so of the styrofoam on the bottom. If you'll take that styrofoam, you can shave this little cone and then try to fit it in. If it's still too big, shave it just a little bit more. What that's going to do is number one, it's going to save you time and a lot of effort trying to get it in there. And um, that the styrofoam helps shave it down really, really easily. So that's just a little tip to help you um, get your arrangement in your vase. Guys, I hope that this tutorial will help you in making pretty flowers for the cemetery and your loved ones. If you have any questions, be sure to drop those down below. If you like this video, please um, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do vi uh, lots of videos every week. And so, and if you have any suggestions for something you'd like to see, let us know. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you real soon. Thank you.